Hey guys, it's Henry Golding from Last Christmas. I am going to be playing with BuzzFeed, Slay or Nay? Right, first up, Christmas music before December, definitely a slay. November comes around, you have literal license to play any musical sort of Christmassy song you wish, and I expect Last Christmas to be blaring in every shop that I walk into because that's usually when you know that it's time to start buying presents. I've heard it my entire life, so to be doing a film which is essentially created around the lyrics of, of um, Last Christmas, it has given me a renewed sense of, of um, love for George Michael and, and his music in general. Car costumes. We do like a little bit of car costumes, I think. I don't know how safe they are, and uh, but you know, there's like antlers. I would say slay, because why not? It's Christmas, you can literally get away with the ugliest sweaters on earth. Why not dress your car all stupid like? Next question, ugly sweaters. <laughs> ugly Christmas sweaters, definitely a slay. I think um, the uglier the better, the more ironic, the more fantastic. You are amiss if you don't have anything stupendously disgusting on whilst opening your presents. I've been in Asia for the past 10 years and it's very hot on Christmas day if, if no one's been around. So this year, hopefully um, I'll get an, an ugly Christmas sweater. Black Friday shopping, massive nay. Consumerism at its worst. They just drive you to spend money that you don't need to spend on a day which you should be relaxing and, and enjoying your time with your family and friends. Going to the cinema, watching, I think this year it's like, the new Star Wars is out. That's gonna be amazing and Jumanji and all sorts. Don't do Black Friday shopping, guys. You're better than that. Caroling, slay. I mean, who doesn't love Christmas carolers. I don't think I've ever been a part. I think as a kid, I tried to just get some extra money with a friend and sing terrible sort of Christmas carols. A youngster trying to get some extra pocket money, but um, they do a good job. And they're there to bring the festive spirit. So slay. Secret Santa slash white elephants. I actually do Secret Santa gifts when I'm with my friends. So I would say slay. It's the best way not to have to buy 15 presents and you can just focus on one good present to give somebody and see their reaction when you bring out something absolutely ridiculous. So, schling. Colored Christmas trees. Nay, a Christmas tree has to be green. It has to be real. It cannot be bright pink or blue or whatever with flashy sort of lights embedded. No, it has to be a nice, beautifully smelling pine that kind of sheds in your house and you religiously have to vacuum up after it. Ecologically speaking, we should be going for reusable Christmas trees, but once, once a year, a real tree. Decorated beards. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever come across decorated beards before, for Christmas, for that matter. I remember when there was like, Oh, there's like merman beards where they put like tinsel and, and glitter. Um, those were ridiculously awesome. So I would say slay. Why not? Put a couple of bits of tinsel in there. I wouldn't call this a beard. I have never grown a beard because I have patches and it's very difficult and rather depressing that they don't connect from my hair to the rest of my face. So I've never seen this in my life. Upside down Christmas. Is this a thing? Why? For Australians? Internet, we do know you're like that crazy stepchild that we love to hate. Um, so please, give up on the upside down Christmas trees. <laughs> Nay, for sure. SantaCon. They look like they're having so much fun. How, how could I say nay to that? Slay? Christmas weddings. Nay. What a way to distract people from a wonderful holiday than to force them to come to your wedding. Christmas weddings, no. There's like the rest of the year to do something special and um, Christmas isn't one of those days. Matching pajamas, yay, for sure, 100%. Ice skating, a massive sleigh. We have a lot of ice skating in um, the movie. A very special moment happens on the ice skating rink. So I would definitely say it, it gets you in the mood and especially here in New York, you have the Rockefeller Center where that iconic skating rink is. And I've even been there with a big Christmas tree and the statue and all the 
hordes and hordes of tourists to brave the tourists. I say slay. Kissing under the mistletoe, slay, for sure. Sometimes it's the only kiss that people get the whole year. Extravagant Christmas decorations, um, yes, as long as it's not your house. Do you know what I mean? Like, as soon as Christmas comes and goes, you have to unravel and you have to put back all of those lights and it's a thing and the tangles and the mess. Actually, I'm veering towards me. So, not too many extravagant Christmas, extravagant Christmas decorations. Gingerbread houses, nay, a little bland. Eggnog, slay, love a bit of eggnog, especially strong eggnog um, that gets you sleepy after a big Christmas meal and you just wanna wrap up in a cozy blanket and sit by a fire and tell stories and play board games, which is what we do every Christmas. There we have it guys, Slay or Nay with BuzzFeed, with me, Henry Golding. Don't forget, Last Christmas is out in cinemas November 8th. Uh, go bring your family, your mum, your dad, go for a cry, go for a laugh, go for a hug. Uh, it is quite literally the perfect Christmas movie. Bye! <laughs>